What's going on guys? All right, in this video, we're gonna be doing something a little different than what I normally do in my videos. We're actually going to be going back stance. Yes, you heard me, stance. So as you see, my car is on jack stands right now. So yeah, I know I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this. Um, a lot of hate for going back stance when my car is boosted, um, but that's what I wanna do. Um, if any of y'all have been keeping up with my car, like a couple years before I had this car tan, it was black. And before I had these NB battles, I had Volks on them and I was super slammed and I was really, really cambered. So that was a couple years ago, but I feel like doing that again um, since I got these bags and all this stuff. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today. So I know a lot of y'all are not gonna like that and uh, I know a lot of y'all will like this. So this is what I'm doing today. Um, if you see here, I'll be putting these up front to give me negative, a lot more negative camber in the front. And then I have my camber, uh, the camber kit right here, the camber arm, uh, that I'll be going more negative in the rear as well. So with this, this will probably give me, this will give me a lot of camber. Um, it's ranging from probably close to negative 10 to negative 12. So. I know it's a lot of camber. Um, I don't know if I'm going to run that much, but whatever this gives me, I'm going to try it out and see how it looks. If I don't like it, then I'm not going to do it. And shout out to uh, Queso, uh, DC5, for making these for me. Uh, he's a good buddy of mine. But he made these for me. I'm about to install these now. And we'll get to it. So let's go. All right, we're down here at the front pass or the front driver's side uh, wheel here. So these plates, I have two of them right here, like that. And what these what what I'm doing here is this is my top bolt. Here's the bottom bolt for my uh, my strut here. What this does is this back hole here where my thumb's at goes where that hole is, and then I'm gonna push this whole hub inward like this, like that, and then where this knuckle right here, there's a hole for this bottom piece. We'll go on this one. So it's gonna push this whole bottom bottom spot out like that so that's what this is going to do that's going to give you negative camber so it pushes this top part back and then pulls this bottom part right here forward and that gives you that negative tilt for the camber um, so I'll put one on each side one will go here and one will go there on that side and then that gives you the negative camber so yeah that's what we're doing um, so that's how these work um, this idea was from it's sunny I know a lot of y'all probably already know this guy, and he has a black RSX as well, and he's the first one that I've seen that was doing this, and I just stole his idea, basically. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try this out, and we'll see how it looks. <music> looks like like that so as you can see this is where the, the the stock bolt hole is for the knuckle here and then this is where it would have gone in so it would have sit more like this but now as you can see this whole thing's tilted in because it's pulling the, this back side out and then the front side going forward so that gives you the negative camber that's what it looks like on this side so basically all this serves as is extending this hole out some. So that's all it's doing. So it's just tilting it in. So that's how that works. Um, so I got that side. I just need to tighten it up. And then I need to do the other side, the passenger side. And after that, I got to do an alignment because this throws your alignment all out of whack. So I have to adjust the toe and all that on it. But that's it. That's how, that's how simple it is. Um, and then in the rear back here, um, I'll be adjusting that. But I want to get the fronts done first. See how much 
eyeball how much camera that has and then just match the camber in the rear. So yeah, that's what we're gonna be doing. That's what I got left. So yeah, let me get to it. All right, got it all tightened up. Got the wheel on. As you can see, all that negative camber. This is just the front wheel. See if we can get it from the back. See? All that negative camber. So, I actually pushed, I didn't push it as far back as it could go. I can think I can get maybe a degree or more, one or two more degrees of negative camber if I pushed it all the way back, but I didn't want to go that far. Um, I like it like this. Um, let me uh, let me get it jacked up. Um, let me put a jack under here because I still got it on jack stands. Put a jack under here, raise this up, and see how it would sit if it was on the ground. So there we go. That's all we jacked up. So if she was aired out on the ground, that's how she would sit. I'm loving how it's barely tucking the wheel there. As you can see, I got like three and a half fingers wide going in here. So I got a lot of room up here now. Um, see if we can see it so yeah she makes this much camera makes these wheels look really really small I'm gonna have to run a spacer up front to bring them out more so they sit flush with the uh, the fender here um, but I'll do that later I'll just test fit and see how these actually fit how the uh, these wheels fit with the camber so I'm happy yeah I'm happy with that um, I'm gonna see how it looks when I get a spacer on it, but dang, from back here, it looks so good. I don't know if you can see. But yeah, I'm happy with that. Let me do the other side real quick. I showed you how to do this side. Um, I'm gonna do the other side. I probably won't film it. Get that buttoned up, and then we'll move to the rear of the car. All right, so we're at the rear. You can see the front there, how tilted that is. Can't, I don't know if you'll be able to tell how tilted this is. This has, uh, I want to say, probably six or seven camber. Um, that's probably up there. That's probably, hmm, I would say close to 10, 10 to 12. Probably closer to 10. But So I need to go probably four more degrees on the back side. Um, this is my, this is the camber arm or the camber kit that I have here. It's just eBay. Um, I don't have anything special here. And I've had it for probably almost four years and it hasn't, Cause me any trouble yet but um, the way the reason why I like this eBay one is because it's shorter than the uh, than the other ones a lot of the other ones are a little bit longer than this so you can't get as much camber out of it so that's why I like these because they're a little bit shorter than the rest um, so you can get a little bit more camber out of them so what I would do is back these both nuts off I'll probably back them all the way all the way out all the way out then bring them in and then see how that looks so back both of these bolts out all the way to the back right here um, and then twist this to where both of these sides come closer in all the way and then see how she looks. So that's what we're going to do. So that's, I got the uh, wheel back on um, for the camber, for the camber kit in the rear, with the camber arm in the rear. I, I got it to go close as close as I could as possible, but I thought I could go further, but I couldn't because the two middle parts I don't know if you can see, but the two bolts that go inside are hitting each other when I'm going to screw it, so I can't go anymore, which I thought I had more room than that, but I don't. But right now she's sitting she's sitting pretty good. Um, I got her raised up, so how she'll be sitting on the ground, and she's tucking up in there, which is nice. Um, maybe later on, if I want to add more camber, I'll just, I can either take that apart, the camera kit apart, and cut the, the insides of the bolt, uh, the two studs on each side, cut them down shorter so they can, so they can go tighter or I can get a whole new camera kit if I wanted to. But I think I'm just gonna leave it like this for now because I like how it sits. Um, so yeah, I just gotta do the other side and throw this on. Uh, I gotta fix my toe before I, before I lower the car because the toe is all out of whack. But I gotta do the other side, then fix the toe, and then get her on the ground, and then I'll show you how she looks all the way around to air it out. All right, just finished fixing the toe. Um, I got it as straight as possible. Um, you can't really set the toe straight without an alignment rack. So I just eyeballed it and did the best I could. Um, she is aired out right now. So let me go ahead and film that for you guys.
All right, guys, that's it for this video. Thank you for watching. Um, in the comments below, I want you. I want to know your opinions on what I just did. Do you think I should? Do you think I should stay stance like this, or you think I should go back to the track look? Um, just let me know what you think. Um, I like how it sits right now. Um, I was feeling the stance vibe for a little bit, so I decided I'd, I'd go ahead and do it. Um, but yeah, that's it for this video. If you haven't subscribed already, be hit. Go ahead and subscribe. Um, hit that hit that subscribe button. Make sure that notification is on. That little bell. Um, give me a like if you enjoyed this video, and I'll see you next time.